Okay, diction analysis using Taxedo. I'm going to use um, PowerPoint, just makes it easy for me to put the image uh, and then text as, as part of my analysis. Uh, you could use Word, you could use some, a Google slide or a Google Doc, it really doesn't matter. I just or publisher. All of them look good. I also need Taxedo. Taxedo is taxedo.com. Uh, it does not work in Chrome. Um, so I am using it on Internet Explorer. Over in Chrome, which I prefer, I have my text um, that I'm going to copy and paste. So first things first, let's go grab my text. I'm using a monologue from Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm going to use actually the very first monologue, which is by Aegis when he's complaining to the Duke of Athens that his daughter is not listening to him and refuses to marry Demetrius and instead wants to marry Lysander. Um, this website, while looking weird, that's create because it doesn't load up right. You can also press it there. Don't ask me why. It just does. So, um, Taxedo is a word cloud generator. This is its default to use the Earth, Mother Earth image. Um, so, step number one after grabbing your text is going to be pasting your text. You could do an entire web page, um, but I'm just doing a monologue. If I right click, it disappears. So, I need to go ahead and use my shortcut. My shortcut is to press Control V since it's listed right there and then I press submit. You'll notice at the bottom there's a little thing every time you go and you alter something and it respins it for you. Um, you'll also notice every time whatever you use last um, it kind of acts like a ghost overlay and then you've got to touch it and X out of it. Okay so first things first is let's go ahead and change the shape to something that makes sense. Uh, in the context of what Aegis is saying, the word love would not make sense here, neither would a heart, because the guy doesn't really care about love. He is telling his daughter no, which might be this good symbol, um, but I like this symbol better because what he's doing is he's going to the Duke, um, asking him to, to grant him the authority to kill his own daughter. I couple things about orientation of words. Um, if you do orientation with the horizontal, if you have a skinny object, so let's say your shape that you were using was very skinny, such as with the clef, let's say you're doing something uh, musical, that treble clef might actually make it where some of the larger words look skinny. Um, so you might want to not um, have it where you're doing horizontals on a skinny, and instead you keep it at the any. Rhymes. Who knew I was going to be a poet while doing this? A um, couple other things is the words that get popped up as large are the words that are most commonly used. I would suggest going in on word layout options and go to skip. Most of the time um, you're okay and they get rid of the words that don't, um, that aren't big deals, but um, thou just means you. Hast means have and I want to kind of just have them skip the big words that are not as um, you know they're just they're little tiny words they're not they're not really diction choices it's it's you're saying you and that's how they say how they he has says you um, so you'll notice that that will get rid of this thou right there will go away in just a second and that way we can really concentrate on what is large. Um, if you are going to be doing and submitting something solely electronically, it really doesn't matter what theme colors you use um, because you could do that and you're not printing it out so it doesn't hurt the toner. But if you are going to print it out, you would want something like the black on white. Uh, if you're doing a... Um, if you're doing a... Um, an electronic version solely. Um, I say go to town on it. I prefer for my eyeballs there to be high contrast in the colors. So I like ones like this one where they're not different shades of blue. To me the shades of blue or the shades of grays or the shades of whatever it may be um, become very muddled. Uh, you can also think about what might make sense for the um, for the colors that you're you're picking, what what your thing is about. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this, um, just because it's high contrast for my eyeballs, and I really really like that. Um, you can see that you can select and uh, deselect fonts, um, which is perfectly fine. Uh, this orientation again, if I said horizontal, I just need to make sure daughter is the biggest word. Does daughter get retained as the biggest word? 
okay, if it does and the other big words all seem to be going together, I can do it horizontal if I want it. Um, if you're doing something skinny, again, pick any. Don't do don't do anything else. All right, so that's kind of the main parts of the tuxedo. Uh, if I go save and share, I'm going to go ahead and grab it and make it as big, 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 big. Um, I'm going to do a midsummer tag. Spell midsummer properly. I'm going to press save. Okay, over here, um, I want to make sure I'm selected on this first slide. I want to go to layout, and I really like this co kind content with caption because you can see it's going to like give it more room for the image. And then I can go over here, insert picture from file, and I can do my midsummer. Mid, 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 mid. Oh, look at my pretty pictures. These are not what I meant to grab. Sorry, it's my actual picture of my daughter. Aww. Okay, uh, here's my midsummer tag. Woo! And I'm going to move it up a little just so I can make him as big as possible. I'm grabbing from the corner um, so that way I don't distort the images. And then right now what I'm using um, is just my my down arrow um, since it's selected. It's moving it down. Um, so I'm going to say diction analysis of a midsummer night's dream. Um, Aegeus's, uh, monologue, act one, scene one, that kind of thing. All right. Um, mid, not summer, night stream, and italicis. Okay, great. So, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to make it where... Sorry, I'm just going to, the aesthetics of it are important to me. I'm going to abbreviate the scene. <laughs> there we go. Um, I want to go and I want to pull out um, the somewhere between uh, 8 to 12 words that are most co that are my largest words uh, or anything else that strikes me as interesting. So I can see that we got the word stand, we have the word daughter, we have Demetrius. Uh, Demetrius is larger than Lysander, which I think is interesting. Uh, we've got the word um, man, consent, we have child, and then I think it's interesting that love is one of the words that's big, and then see, daughter, Demetrius, man, Stan, Lysander, um, feigning, forth and gracious okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to start now kinda organizing these together so I see daughter and child and so here's daughter and here down here's child Hermia her name right here is actually smaller that means he says the word daughter more times than he ever says the word Hermia, word Hermia. and he says the word child more times than he ever says the word Hermia either. So I'm actually going to combine because when he's talking about daughter and child, that whole monologue, he's talking about Hermia. So he's not actually referring to her by name. He's talking constantly about how she is his daughter, his child. Um, I'm going to also kind of look at, is there anything else? You can see I already kind of highlighted that Demetrius was larger than Lysander. Um, stand is actually part of his stand forth. So I'm going to combine those guys up together because he's stand forth, Demetrius, stand forth, Lysander. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the consent over there. Okay, so now what do I talk about in terms of these words? So I'm going to think about um, the diction choices and I'm going to think specifically of what is being emphasized what is um uh well i'm sorry what is being emphasized what is being um what is he trying to insinuate that kind of stuff virtually the question is why why is that word getting repeated why is that word being used okay so daughter and child why is that getting used and repeated more often than his um own daughter's name so i'm going to say daughter child instead of hermia and I'm going to say that Aegis um, uses um, daughter 
Pattern and child to refer to Hermia. Don't ask me why. I'm uh, my fingers automatically press that S instead of the um child child and to refer to Hermia as oh sorry in order to emphasize that he has authority over her okay um i can look down at the word gracious aegis makes sure to compliment um his audience which is theseus There we go. Uh, you just make sure to compliment his audience, um, Theseus, in order to um, get the outcome he desires. Which is for Theseus to agree to let Hermia be. Put to death if she does not give in and marry Demetrius. Okay, um, Demetrius is larger than Lysander. Aegeus prefers Demetrius. Demetrius and refers to him more often by name to convey his preference. So virtually what you're doing is you're going through um and you are are let's see, let me fix this spelling. Um it's hard, they all line up. They all light up because they're so exciting. Um, so you're trying to answer that question of why. Why is he doing that? Why is he picking those? Um, and if you have at least five solid um, bits of analysis in there, it's a pretty good amount of analysis. So I could even write for this one, love, it is surprising that this word came up in the medium size because Aegeus does not seem to care that Hermia is in book. Okay. Alright, so once you go and you do that, and then you have done that for, I would say, five different things, um, you explain why um you're going to go ahead and you would save this and you would probably and you would submit it um and it's a good way of just kind of looking at the different diction choices that um a character is using or an author or poet is using um so i just did four there but really honestly i think five would be a much better um amount um and then you get once you you know let's just print this guy to pdf so we can see him without all the um, wretched little, oh it's not print, it's file save as, sorry. I'm used to it, it used to be print, file save as, oh, PDF, there we go. Um, so once you have it where we look at it, and it's going to be much beautiful, much prettier because there's not going to be all that red all over it, um, you've got a good amount of analysis, you get a good idea of um, what we need to know about um, those diction choices and it lets you kind of notice things that you may not have noticed before like for example that he actually talks about love in this whole thing where he's asking